This is me. My name is Lee So Jin. I am a student at Hongguk Middle School. I love my family, my friends, and my school. My family. I live with my parents and my little sister. My mom is sweet and wise. My dad is a cook. His spaghetti is really good. My sister is eight years old. She is very cute. My family is important to me. My friends. Suho and Gina are my good friends. We think differently, but we like each other. We study and play badminton together. My friends are special to me. My school. My middle school is exciting. I like my homeroom teacher and my school uniform. The science class is not easy, but I learn a lot. My school is a wonderful place. Our wonderful teachers. At our school, we have many teachers. Let's meet some of them. Hi, I am an English teacher. In the English zone, students listen to and speak English. My class is fun. We do a lot of group work. We sometimes sing English songs together. Welcome to the computer room. We do many interesting things here. We make computer games and websites. Isn't that wonderful? Hi. I'm a counselor. Do you have any problems at school? Then the counseling room is the right place for you. Here you talk to me about things such as friendships or studies. I listen and give advice. Hi, I work at the school library. Our library has many interesting books and magazines. Here are some library rules. A good student returns books on time. A good student does not make noise. Geo's family camping trip. My family likes camping. We sometimes go to a mountain or a beach. Last week, my family went to Yongwol. May eighth. We arrived at the campground in the afternoon. Mom and my little brother put up the tent. I stepped into the stream. The water was cold. At night, we baked sweet potatoes in the campfire. My little brother's face became black from the sweet potatoes. He looked funny. Stars filled the sky. I counted some of them, but soon stopped. There were too many stars. They were very bright. May ninth. The next morning, we left for Sonam Village. The village was amazing. It looked like a map of Korea. We took family photos in the village. In the afternoon, we enjoyed rafting on the Dong River. Watch out! Water is coming in! Dad shouted. We all got wet, but it was all right. Rafting was cool, and the scenery was beautiful. Our next family camping trip is one month away. I am already excited. Six degree rise. The Earth is a beautiful blue planet. People live on it. It is also home to many kinds of animals and plants. But The temperature of the Earth is going up. Small changes in temperature will bring about many problems. Two degree rise. The ice in the Arctic and Greenland melts. Polar bears lose their homes and cannot find food easily. They have to move across wide areas for their food. Four degree rise. The sea level rises very high. 
Lots of cities on the seaside sink underwater. Some islands disappear. Many places become deserts. The Amazon rainforests disappear. Six degree rise. The earth is like a big fireball. Most living things die from the heat. Huge storms destroy everything. People, animals, and plants cannot live in this hot place. Isn't this scary? The temperature of the earth will rise six degrees in a short time. We have to do something. We can save the earth. Let's taste the world. Dim sum. These are lovely. They look like mandu. They are dim sum, a popular lunch in Hong Kong. Are they tasty? Yes, they are delicious. We fill them with vegetables, meat, or seafood. By the way, what does dim sum mean? It means to touch your heart. Try one. Wow! How delicious. Fondue. In Switzerland, people could not get fresh food during the winter. They stored bread and cheese, but the bread and cheese became too hard. So the Swiss began to soften the old bread with warm cheese. Enjoy fondue like this. One, put cheese in a pot. Two, place the pot over a candle and melt the cheese. Three. Pick up a piece of bread with a long fork. Four. Dip it in the cheese and enjoy. Ceviche. Hi. Do you want to try some ceviche? Ceviche is a popular dish in Peru. Let's make ceviche. Pour lemon or lime juice over raw fish. The sour juice cooks the fish without heat. Then serve it with vegetables. It tastes both sweet and sour. Is your mouth watering? Sally the salmon. From the beginning, Sally was different. She was smaller than her friends, but she could jump higher. She enjoyed jumping and practiced it every day. Soon, Sally and her friends left home. They swam down the river and went to the ocean. On her way, Sally practiced her special jumps. Years later. Sally and her friends had to go home to the river and lay eggs. They swam against the current and jumped over many waterfalls. Then they met a bear. We'll never make it," said one salmon. "We'll all die. We should go back," said another. "No," Sally said. "Keep swimming. I will go first. Don't worry and trust me." Sally swam faster than her friends. Then she jumped with all her might. She sprang up one way and then another. It was very surprising. The bear finally lost focus. All the salmon swam away safely. Sally and her friends were home at last. They laid millions of eggs. Before long, baby salmon came out of the eggs. Sally saved a lot of lives with her jumps. Go new. A Korean folk game. Welcome to the Kim Hong Do section. Kim Hong Do was a famous artist of the 18th century. In his paintings, people dance, fish, study, wrestle, and so on. He made these paintings because he was interested in the lives of the common people. Look at that painting. The boys are playing a game, aren't they? Yes, they are playing gonu. Gonu? What's that? It's a traditional Korean game. Gonu is a folk game for people of all ages. People enjoy the game because it is easy and fun. There are different types of gonu. Their names come from the shape of the board, such as a pumpkin, a well, and lines. Hobak gonu is a popular type of gonu. Do you want to play it? The rules of hobak gonu. One, put three markers on your home space. 
two. Take turns and move one marker one space at a time. You can move the markers freely in the circle. Your markers cannot get into the other player's home space. Your markers cannot go back to your home space from the circle. Three, block all the markers of the other player. Then you'll win the game. Home space. Ubuntu. A man from a foreign country lived in an African village. One day, when he was walking in the village, he met a group of children. The children waved and smiled at him brightly. Their smiles made him happy. So the man thought of a game for them. He put candies in a basket and placed it under a tree. Then he said, "Children, run to the basket. The first person there will get all the candies." The man drew a line on the ground, and the children stood there. Ready, set, go! The man said loudly, but surprisingly, the children did not race to the basket. They held one another's hands and ran together. The children arrived at the tree all at the same time and shared the candies. Everyone was happy. The man could not believe his eyes. He went over to them and asked, "Why did you run together?" The children shouted, "Ubuntu!" One girl added, "How can we be happy when others are sad?" This is a beautiful story about Ubuntu. Ubuntu means. I am because we are. Simply, it means care and love. When we keep the idea of Ubuntu, we can all live happy lives. Let's all practice Ubuntu. We are one human family. Believe in your dream. Terry loves basketball. She always thinks about her dream job, a basketball player. Terry practices, but she does not improve. She is sad. She is not sure about her dream any more, so she does not practice hard. At lunch, Terry sees her classmate Alex. Alex is drawing cartoons. His drawings are not very good. Alex, you're drawing again. Do you like animations? Yes, I love them. An animator? That's my dream job. Really? Yes, I'm not very good at drawing, but I practice every day. I read a lot and write stories too. I believe in my dream. Alex believes in his dream. And works hard for his future. Terry understands now. Belief and practice are important. She thinks happily. Believe in your dream, Terry. Enjoy practice. Imagine the future. There is a star basketball player on the court. That player is you.